it was super rainy. <laughs> it rained a lot, so I suggest bring rain boots, but <laughs> yeah, so when I first got there, it's kind of like a dream <laughs> a mission, so it's kind of like, feels like you're not there, but you are. Um, so when we got there, we got there with our group, and it was raining a lot, and then they drove us to, like, the mission home, which is where the temple is, and we had the whole, like, they, like, tell you who your trainer is, and that's kind of exciting, and they do it, like, right in front of the temple, and they sing called to serve, and it's, like, really great, but uh, I was a little scared at first. I was nervous. I just remember I was super quiet, and then I got to, because we have, in Uruguay, we have, like, transfers for unions, so every transfer, like, everyone who's changing, like, meets up in one place, and then we go to our area. So I showed up there, and I just saw, like, a billion missionaries, and I was just like, oh. well, not like a billion, but there were a lot. So I was a little overwhelmed at first, but then, but it was, it was cool, because everyone was really friendly, and they were just all, like, trying to get you excited, and and like comfort you and like help you just like get through it. So I was a little intimidated, but it was really, I was really excited at the same time. Um, my trainer was great and she helped me feel really comfortable. So yeah. Uruguay, there's two missions in Uruguay. There's like the, there's the West mission and then there's Montevideo. Um, and it's divided in half. So like we have like the east side of the country, like most of the coast is there. You have a little bit of the like border with Brazil and then it just touches like the other mission on the other side. So there there are branches and there are words. I think it's like an even distribution. There are a few districts so like I think there are two districts in our mission uh, so they're just like little branches. They're not yeah they're not a complete stake yet but there are also some like decent sized words. So there's a little bit of everything. I think most people get get to serve in both at least because it's like pretty even pretty equal. From what I've heard, it's a really it has been a really successful mission. Just especially when it started up, it like I don't know if it's true, but it, just things you hear, you know, that it was one of the like fastest like growing mission as it started in like Latin America. And it was just been cuz I think I understand why cuz People from Uruguay are like really great, <laughs> like really receptive, and they're really open. So, I ha actually have a brother in my ward who served in Uruguay, but like years ago, I think it was like in the 60s or 70s, and he had served when it was just like, I think he like opened up one of the first stakes or something like that, and or he served in a tiny branch, and he just like he told me that he visit a few years ago, and he was just amazed at like how much it had grown. Uh, he saw like the temple that just didn't exist when he was there because it's only like I think it's like 14 years old so the temple is like pretty new and so the church has grown a lot in Uruguay the members have have church like expanded throughout the area and so I was in I started off in Florida in the city of Florida <laughs> yeah in the city so they're like I guess since it's a tiny country they don't have like states so they have they call them departments or departamentos so they're just like little mini i guess states <laughs> yeah so in the the department of florida there's a city called florida and i served there first and then i moved i went to pando i was there for two transfers and i went to pando which is in canelones in the department of canelones and it's a city there and i was there for a long, i was there for about four transfers and then I moved, I went to Sarandi del Xi, which is a tiny town kind of in the middle of nowhere <laughs> in Durazno, which translated means peach. <laughs> and after that, um, I went to Melo, which is like closer to Brazil. And it's awesome. It's a cool place because the people are like, I don't know, they they're like... They're like all from Uruguay, but they're kind of like they love Brazil, so they're like they have a little bit of like the mix of the two cultures. So that was really cool. After Melo, I went back to Florida again. I served in the same city, just a different branch. And then I finished my mission in Maldonado, which is really beautiful. It's like it's a pretty famous place in Uruguay. It's called Punta del Este, and it's where most of the tourists go. And so there's, like, beach and, like, yeah, and there's a lot of tourists there. But it was really great. <laughs> yeah, those are all my areas. 